Good afternoon. You good? Hey, she. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, everything we do is uh, situational and game plan. So we're looking at the best situation for that for that uh, for that particular situation. Things uh, are always thought out. They're all always calculated in terms of what is our opponent doing. Um, what are their tendencies? Uh, what area of the field are we on? Uh, are you going to get a huge return or you're not? Uh, so some of those things go into uh, play. So um, hopefully we'll get a lot more opportunities uh, this week. There really weren't many opportunities last week. Um, so we're looking forward to that and looking forward to this week. Ambry Thomas. Yeah, Ambry Thomas played uh, gunner for us. He played um, on the vice for us or corner for us. He played, sorry, it's, I don't know what we can do about that helicopter. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was Cam calling, ain't no doubt. <laughs> so, uh, and then obviously he played kick returner as well. So uh, he played kickoff, and he did okay. Uh, his first game for him, uh, that's a tough opponent for him to go against. Uh, Detroit is a really good special teams unit. I don't care what their record was last year. They were a good unit. Uh, they were a top ten unit in, in most polls, and some, some units they were top five. I mean, some polls they were top five. So that is a tough opponent for him to go against. It's a lot of room to grow, a lot of improvement uh, to be had across the board. So uh, still excited about Ambry, and and uh, he's up for the challenge. He was in here yesterday uh, early, bright and early, and wanted to get better, and it's been that way every day. And uh, we'll see this week. All right, hoping hoping he makes a jump this week. Yeah, same thing um, situationally um, depends on what what we're doing that game as far as the game plan and what we see on tape and what we think we can take advantage of. Uh, I thought our guys uh, did a, a heck of a job covering. I thought uh, those guys did a really good job uh, kicking off as well when they had their opportunity. And uh, we'll just look at that, obviously, week to week, and we'll always take a look and see what's going to give us the best chance to win and what's going to give us the best chance to set our defense up with good field position so we can take advantage of every opportunity we get. What kind of confidence boost was it to have Robbie kick the 52-yarder and make it after missing from the same distance? Yeah, you guys know Robbie. Uh, it's definitely a confidence booster for him, for the whole team. Uh, for everybody, but you guys know he works as hard as anyone, and uh, we always preach resilience. That's what we want throughout all our players, um, all the players that we have. So I was really excited to see that us get that exact same kick in the exact same spot and us deliver on that uh, for the team. So that was outstanding. And again, I tell these guys all the time: it's not what happens to you; it's really how you react and how you respond. So you always have the the chance to respond. You'd like to have a chance to respond, but if you go around sulking about the first thing that happens, then you, you miss out on your second opportunity. And I think that's in, in life as well. That bee's going to sting you, Jim. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it depends. I think a lot of times a lot of people try to get it out of the back of the end zone, and uh, we've had times when we're trying to get it out the back of the end zone. We have times when it doesn't go out the back of the end zone. And I think guys will try to kick it out the back of the end zone. We don't really tell uh, our opponents or give away a competitive advantage when we're doing it or when we're not doing it. Um, but, yeah, people, people say that all the time, and then people tackle them inside the 10 and say, why don't you kick it in? kick it in play all the time if you can tackle them inside the 10. So it's not a, I mean, you would love to kick it out the back every time, but it just unfortunately doesn't happen all the time. How did Mitch give you that other chance to do it? Robbie can do it too. Yeah, Robbie Robbie's had four touchbacks last game. <laughs> yeah, so he, they both can do it. Yeah. So um, that's a really good question, Jen. So kickoff, in my personal opinion, and I think most players' personal opinion, maybe even in league circles, kickoffs are a lot easier to catch because they're end over end, um, and they typically come down the same way. Punts, they vary a lot, like the spin on them. And if you're, 
you're, you're playing a left-footed punter versus a right-foot punter. Is it spinning to the right? Is it spinning to the left? Does he have banana balls where he can start one way and kick it the other way? Does he have balls that go up and drop and fall down? So um, it's just really the flight of the ball is a lot harder to catch on punts uh, than it is on kickoffs. You know you got a confident guy uh, that when he wants to do both. You'll get some kick returners that you ask them, you say, hey, can you catch punts too? And they'll be, mm, I can try, coach, I can try. So those are the difference. They're really the flight of the ball and different distances. At kickoff, you can just stand at the goal line, you know. So punt, you could be 40, you could be 50, you could be running back, you could – and then it's just – it's a lot harder, yeah. Good Something question. More, please. Did a lot of your guys fly under the radar, like other junior guys or, or whatever. Who graded out particularly well or – stellar against Detroit that maybe no one would have worried about? Yeah, I think uh, I think guys do fly under the radar a lot uh, when it comes to special teams. I think that uh, special teams in general is all about field position and helping take advantage. So if you want to say a guy that probably stood out, which you guys can see, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's it was Samson last week. Uh, he had to tackle at the 10-yard line. He had two tackles in the ball game. Uh, we've been really pleased with Sampson. He's done everything we wanted him to do when he came here. We thought he was a good def- would be a good defensive player. We really thought he would be a great special teams player and a really great defensive player. So that uh, that everything he we thought he was, he is, and we're happy that we have him. And sure feels the same way. So those two guys, the personnel department did a heck of a job finding those guys, and then those guys are living up to what we thought they would bring to the table. So that's been awesome. Is that, is that It depends on different teams. Some teams I've been on, uh, you you have those guys. It depends if you're a three four team, if you're a four three team, um, what body type that guy is. You typically don't have a ton of defensive linemen that can help, but if you have um, a one or two that can help, that really can help your units out for sure. And especially one like uh, Samson, he's been doing it, and it's not like I'm saying anything that Samson hadn't been doing when he was at the Rams. I mean he. Quite honestly, we're sick of blocking him and Sherfield, so now they're over here. <laughs> All right, thanks, Coach. Good? All right, thanks, guys.